After completing the text setup options, the next logical thing would actually be to go and set up the payment options. So once again, I have a log back into my account. This is the main dashboard of my store and I will go to start my store button. Going down the list, you'll find payments and here you'll find three possible tabs. The bottom one is the uh, set tax calculation one which we have previously completed and now we will have a look at the checkout. So basically we'll have a look at the setup PayPal Express Checkout. Now PayPal Express Checkout is the default payment option set by Magento Go. On this page you will find some information about the PayPal Express Checkout. So basically you can see that there is 130 million active accounts and basically it's accepted in 119 countries and it accepts actually 26 currencies and so on. So like I've said PayPal Express Checkout is the, def is the default payment of your store. To disable it you will go here and click on Disable PayPal Express Checkout which I will do a bit later. After receiving your first payment and this will be sent to your email address you will actually get some information of how to set up your PayPal account. So basically this is the email that you have used to log into Magento Go. If you wish to change this email address, you can change it here by deleting the original one, which is actually your Magento Go username, and then just entering a new email address and clicking on update. So this is the address where you would like to receive information about the payments being made via PayPal Express Checkout. So once again, if you like to change this email address and receive uh, information about this payment on a different account, you can just type in your email address right here and click on the update button. But what I would like to do now is actually disable my PayPal Express checkout. So I'm going to click on this link here. Alright, now I have disabled my PayPal Express checkout and basically I would do this if I do not want to use this checkout method and I would like to set up some different payment method and therefore I can actually go here and enable it or I can go back but for now let's close this window and let's go back just to show you that this PayPal Express checkout has been disabled at the moment so once again I can click on enable and this will actually enable my PayPal Express checkout. Alright, let's go back now to start my store, go down to payments and have a look at the second tab which is actually the setup other payment options. Then you will be displayed with some information about the payment options. Actually, it will say here that there are many different payment options available here with Magento Go and some of those options actually accept credit card directly on your site and that to do that you will probably have to create an account with what's called a payment provider and that will give you some information which you would later have to enter into Magento Go payment options. Also if you follow this link here you will be presented with all the supported payment options. So basically once you have read this just click on continue and this will now bring you to the payment options page. Here you'll find many different payment options. Like I've said, there's the PayPal. There's also many different payment options here. And for each one of those, you will have to go and actually set up the account and everything else. I will go through some of the most popular checkout payment checkout uh, methods a bit later in later videos. But just remember how to get here. So we actually went and selected from the start my store we have selected payments and then we went into set up other payment options and here we're presented with a list of many different payment options and payment providers so basically you can see that there is the popular one like authorize.net which i will be covering in one of the later tutorials so how to set up that one and a few others which actually you can activate and use on your online online store so once you have actually done with setting your options, you would go and click on save config, which will actually save your configuration. So that's it for this video tutorial. In the next video tutorial, we'll go and actually see how we set some of these payment options and how to actually add some payment solutions to our online store.